Red Velvet, as we mentioned, is injured, but old uh, Malcolm Bivens, or what's his name now? Stokely Carmichael? Stokely Hathaway. There you go. He's looking for another baddie because Red Velvet's injured and we can't grieve forever. So they're filling her spot. He can talk. If he ever had top guys in any of these companies to work with instead of a girl's group or, you know, the fucking green diamond mine, I'd like to see what he can do. Um, Shivani's too hokey in this stuff. I always thought he'd be good in the interview role, but he acts too much like a fucking clown. Well, because, see, he didn't do that 30 years ago because Dusty or any of us would have fucking told him once and forcefully don't do that anymore. He had respect for the business. When he... He's talked about when he first was allowed in the interview room at Crockett's office in, what, 1981, 82, when they first hired him. He knew he was seeing shit he wasn't supposed to see, and he knew instinctively, because he was a fan, that he should never speak of it. And he respected the business, he respected the boys, and that continued through, I didn't associate with him or wasn't around him during the WCW years, but then he took 20 years off. And now he's come back and he sees the guys laughing about wrestling being fake and the promoters laughing about wrestling being fake. And obviously all of the, nobody respects the business anymore. So he just laughs at the bad comedy because nobody else cares. He didn't do that on his own. He's been taught that that's okay by the jack offs that are working in this company. But Tony was with Chris Statlander and Ember Moon. And they were doing a promo, making fun of the promo that Jane Cargill and Malcolm Stokely or Carmichael Bivens, whatever his fucking name is, they're making fun of the promo. It wasn't actually as bad as the girls' promos usually are here, but here's the thing. I'm going to mark this down. Chris Statlander, she's dressing like a human being now. She was announced from New York last week or two weeks ago instead of the Andromeda Galaxy. She has been apparently training since she was off injured again. And a lot of people have said she's improved. So the next time they put her in a single match with somebody that I'm not completely offended by, I'm going to watch and give her another shot. Because she's got the size. She looks like she's got the look. She's not a space alien anymore. I'll see what she... And also, did did you see she can play the flute? Well, that was the recorder, not the flute. Well, I'm I'm sorry. I'm not up on my... On your fourth grade music class? My woodwind instruments or whatever. Uh, But uh, she serenaded the folks on Twitter with a fine rendition of Wednesday Night in the Key Demo. Uh, instrumental version. She didn't sing it. And, uh, but anyway, I'll reevaluate this now that she's a human. This was a good promo. I actually thought she was really good hearing this promo because I don't remember ever really hearing her speak before. So I was like, all right, let's see where this goes. Because a lot of these women, like even some of the ones that come off WWE TV, they're not good talkers and they can't make it feel natural. Right. This feels like a girl being natural and getting in your face and she's going to kick your ass. Well, and Ember also, when they were joking back and forth, because normally, especially the AEW girls, we talk about it, they recite the lines with no emotion or they've memorized it and you can tell or it's... And the NXT backstage girl promos too are just horrible. But this, they have a a rapport there, Statlander and Ember. 